Hello everyone, and welcome to Dynamics 365 Portals Tips from Engineered Code. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 23, User Liquid Object. Liquid is a server-side templating language that allows a developer to use common programming concepts like if statements and loops to create the HTML, JavaScript, and CSS that a portal user sees. While Liquid itself is an open source language used in many different products, both ADX Studio and Microsoft have over the years added extensions to the language to give developers portal-specific functionality. One of those is the user object. The naming of the user object can lead to some confusion, as it has nothing to do with Dynamics 365 system users. Instead, this object gives you access to the contact record of the person who is currently logged into the portal. This reference allows you to access any of the attributes of that contact entity, like first name, last name, and email address. It also gives you access to a couple special attributes. The first one is called roles, which is an array of strings containing the names of all of the web roles associated with that contact. This is useful if you need to restrict the output in certain areas based on web roles. Simply use the contains filter on this array to check if the current user has a role. The other special attribute allows you to retrieve the badges associated with the current user. In the case where no one is logged in, this object will be null. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Dynamics 365 Portals tip number 23 from Engineered Code on the user liquid object useful.